Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Talon Lister and behind the camera is Jared Dollins. And today we're going to be bringing you guys something really special. We've got a comparison between the Rode VideoMic Go and the Rode VideoMic Pro lined up for you guys today. Stick around, you're watching Revolution Network. So the way that we've got this set up right now is we actually have the Rode VideoMic Go set up on a microphone stand. And this microphone stand is by Samson. You can get it on Amazon for like 20 bucks. I'll link it in the description. But we've got the microphone mounted to that using a 5 8 to 3 8 adapter. And you can get that on Amazon as well. I'll link that in the description. You can get that for like two bucks. And uh, basically it allows you to be able to mount these tripods onto something like a boom pole or in this case a microphone stand, standard microphone stand. Uh, and it really does come in handy. It allows you to get the microphone a lot closer to your subject. So the way that we have this set up is of course this whole microphone stand set up but I also have it run into the camera I'm not using an external audio recorder or anything like that and I have it running into the camera and in the camera we have uh, the leveling set to where it doesn't go above negative six decibels uh, so we're gonna keep that pretty much steady uh, for both the Rode VideoMic Go and the Rode VideoMic Pro so this is what the Rode VideoMic Go sounds like this is what the Rode VideoMic Pro sounds like on the normal gain setting on the normal pickup setting. So this is what the audio quality sounds like with the Rode VideoMic Pro in the plus 20 decibel gain setting. Now the plus 20 decibel gain setting, what that allows you to do is if you're shooting say with the microphone mounted on top of your camera in the hot shoe, it allows you to get a little bit better audio quality the further you are away from your subject. This is what the Rode VideoMic Go sounds like again. This is what the Rode VideoMic Pro sounds like again on all of its normal settings. And this is the Rode VideoMic Pro in the plus 20 decibel gain setting once again. So the rest of this video is going to be shot with the Rode VideoMic Go in the plus 20 dB setting. So if you need a little bit more uh, normal, you know, I guess guesstimation on what it's actually going to sound like in a real world setting, this is going to be a good approximation. So a couple of pros and cons of each. Uh, the Rode VideoMic Pro is obviously the more expensive microphone. It MSRPs at $249 but I think Jared said that he was able to cop his at right around the $200 mark if you look hard enough. The Rode VideoMic Go uh, is only $99 MSRP. I was actually able to get this open box, uh, unused, still in sealed packaging and everything like that for like $65, which is a really good deal. I think I got really lucky on that. Normally they're around $75.80. A couple of pros and cons audio wise, uh, Obviously, the Rode VideoMic Pro is going to be better for you if you plan on always having this on your camera's hot shoe uh, because it has that plus 20 dB setting, which means that you're going to be able to get a, a good audio reach from a little bit farther away. So the Rode VideoMic Go is a little bit better for casual running gun style videography for vlogging, things of that sort. Uh, audio quality wise, uh, I use the Rode VideoMic Go on a daily basis and I've used it in the past few videos uh, and audio quality wise it seems to be pretty good especially for the price. Uh, I have noticed though that I, I would have liked a little bit more in the low register. Uh, it's really good at picking up mids and highs and things like that but the lows just seemed a little bit lacking for me. The Rode VideoMic Pro however does seem to do a little bit better in the low register. Okay, so another pro of the Rode VideoMic Go is that it's actually completely powered by the camera or your recording source. So you really just plug this cable in and you're good to go. There's no batteries or anything like that. The Rode VideoMic Pro, however, does use a single battery uh, to power it. I think it lasts for right around 70 hours, uh, which, you know, at that point, you're not really gonna have to ever worry about it going dead. I would throw a spare battery in your camera bag just in case, but I don't think you're really ever gonna have to worry about it going dead on you in the middle of a shoot. So this has been a comparison between the Rode VideoMic Go and the Rode VideoMic Pro. I hope that you guys learned something today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Talon Lister. This is Jared Dollins. 
You're watching Revolution Network. Have a great day.